starting with the base coat of Retributor Armor Spray, cover all the gold areas then in another layer of Retributor Armor from the pot. Um, I find the spray is quite um, a faint colour and even though it gives a good starting point it probably needs this extra layer. Wash all areas of the gold with the Gulliman Flesh Contrast Paint. Paint all areas to be blue with Thousand Suns Blue. I find painting over metallic sometimes the paint seems to slide over the surface a bit too easily um, so just go with multiple thin layers and allow each one to dry fully before painting the next. Recess shade any of the recesses on the blue armour but also any areas where the blue meets the gold with black templar. Um, alternatively you could wash this with non oil but I find that the black temper contrast puts an extra uh, demarcation between the two colours and makes the both of them pop a little bit more. Paint all areas to be black with the Baden black paint. This includes the gun casing and the ribbing between the joints of the power armour. Um, to save time you could probably do this with the black templar from the previous step but would likely require two or three coats to give an even finish. Paint all areas in the model to be silver with a base coat of iron hands steel. Then wash all these metallic areas with null oil. Base coat the tabard in Corax white and would likely will take two to three layers to give an even finish. Paint the entire tabard with apothecary white contrast paint. And a thick layer is generally needed with this contrast that is quite faint, but it does give a very good effect over white. Pick out all the recessed glyphs on the bolter with Corax white. Um, this is basically just slow and steady, and any overspill can be corrected with a bad and black. Paint all these areas now with Tesseract Glow. Um, you don't need to be particularly neat here, any overspill will add to the lighting effect, but try to concentrate the paint over the white areas. Paint the areas to be yellow on the model, um, namely on this, the alternate stripes on the helmet with Averland Sunset. Again, two to three coats of this will be needed to get any kind of an even finish over a darker colour. Um, take your time and try to keep the layers as thin as possible to avoid buildup. Then use Uriel Yellow to paint over these areas to brighten them up. Now pick out the centre of the eye lenses with Corax White. Um, trying to avoid to paint any of the recesses around the eye and just keep it on the lens proper. Edge highlight all the sharp areas of the blue with Arlan Blue. Mostly this is around the fists of the model and the sharp areas on some of the legs. You could go with the Games Workshop uh, styling of using a thin line around the edges of the blue armour all the way around. Alternatively, you could just go ahead and do something fun with your time.
for character models, I'd suggest picking out the yellow lines with the thin highlight of Screaming Skull, just to make them pop a bit more. I don't necessarily think this would be needed on squads. Having picked out all of the gems with Stormhole Silver, layer all with a single layer of Warp Lightning Contrast Paint. Alternatively, you could go for a more detailed styling of the gems, uh, which I'll put up in another tutorial, but for squads, I think this is more than sufficient for the effect that you get. With a thin down layer of warp lightning, then pick out the eye lenses on the model. In retrospect, I'd probably do this with Tesseract Glow, um, that would give a much brighter effect than the warp lightning. It ended up being a bit duller than I would like. Edge highlight the silver areas with Stormhole Silver. Um, any areas that allow for using of the edge of the brush is probably the way to go about it. Um, there are a few areas like the um, magazine for the bolter and the tubing around the mouth that you'll just need to paint the layers, um, but take your time with it. In a similar fashion pick out the edges of the gold armor and the gold on the gun you don't necessarily need to do this every part of gold but for things like around the helmet around the gun and the more noticeable parts of the model it definitely adds to the effect and this is the finished result if you like this video please consider checking out a few more on my channel which cover everything from smaller parts and smaller techniques on models to full-blown model tutorials and please consider subscribing if you'd like to be kept up to date with newer videos